In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an A-frame and how to use it. A-frames are a simple tool for measuring the contours. We identify the contours in order to implement the ideas from our designs. These ideas include the use of gravity because gravity is a free natural resource. Many designs work with the contours of the land, like these rice paddies in Asia. By identifying the contour levels, we can install barriers to make best use of the flow. Many natural resources move with gravity, and often gravity combines with water and wind to move other resources such as leaf litter, seeds, minerals and animal manure. If you need more information about contours, have a look at our videos about mapping. There are many different ways to identify the contours, but I'm going to show you one of the easiest and cheapest tools. Using an A-frame helps us to get around rocky or grassy sites. It suits gardens and lawns. On a large area, it is faster to use a theodolite or a bunyip, or better still, ask your client to pay for a survey to mark up the contours on a larger site. There's two types of A-frames. The quick and easy type that you can make just with sticks and a couple of nails or wire is the A-frame with a plumb line. So you build an A, like a capital A, and then you attach a piece of string and a rock. You need to calibrate that one to make sure that you put a mark in the middle of the horizontal bar so you know when it is level. Find an area that you know is definitely level and use that space to mark up where the string hits across the horizontal line. The second type of A-frame just has a spirit level attached to the horizontal bar. Now you can make a spirit level with just a bottle and some colored water and you attach that bottle to the horizontal line. The bottle doesn't have to be square or cylindrical. It can be odd shaped like a Coca-Cola bottle because you know that the level that you see in the bottle will be level and you compare that to the horizontal. Again, you should calibrate it to make sure the horizontal bar is level. The other disadvantage with the plumb line is it can swing about in the wind. The most important thing about making the A-frame is that it needs to be rigid. It's got to be strong so that the different components, the diagonals and the horizontal bars don't move. They all stay really strongly tied together. We made the mistake, Shane Moon and I, when we made this one by using old stockings and elastic or plastic ties can slip. So the best type of A-frame uses nuts and bolts or it uses wire or jute rope that's been tied really securely. So how do we use the A-frame? We get that base map, we choose a starting point. Let's say here we're going to use this boulder as our starting point. To use the A-frame we put one foot securely at the starting point. Then we move the other foot up the slope or down the slope until the horizontal bar is perfectly level. Then we mark where that second foot rested. And once we've marked that, then we secure the second foot and we swing the first foot away and around to find the next point. To get the next point that would be on the level. So we're basically just trying to find all the points that are level we keep moving the A-frame till we get to the other end of the space that we want to map out. It won't make a straight line and eventually you'll get a contour line. 